Helena, thank you yeah. so much for taking the time to speak with us. Um, so people aren't already familiar with your film, maybe you can give us a brief introduction to Instinct, what can people expect? Absolutely. Well, it is uh, based on true events, and it's about um, a psychiatrist, a female psychiatrist, and she works in a prison with criminals, and she has an affair with a sex offender that she's treating in the prison. And what gave you the inspiration for this film? Why, uh, why did you want to put this story on the well, screen? Well, I'm, um, I'm normally an actress and I come from the theatre, so I did only like classical plays from Hedda Gabler to Taming of the Shrew. And all these plays, classical plays, are about sexuality and power, but all written by men, directed by men. And I felt slowly during my career the urge to create something myself. And then I saw this as a news item on TV where they said like, well, we discovered after years of research that in the Dutch prisons it's very common that boundary, boundary crossing relationships develop between the, you know, the prisoners and the guards or the helpers or the therapists. And then I thought, how can a woman, because this particular story really happened, who is trained to see their manipulative character, who is trained to see all these dangers, how can she then still fall for somebody like that and do something so destructive to herself? That was basically the question that I had, and that's how I uh, started to write the movie. And how did you settle on this cast, and how did you work with them to, to bring your vision forward? Well, um, Caris van Hout, who is my best friend, people know her from Game of Thrones, she's the Red Priestress. We have a little company together, and it's called Men Up, and first we created a TV show about um, the red light district in Amsterdam. It's called Red Light, we're shooting that right now. But it took us a long time to get it financed because it's a big TV show. And so um, we thought of this idea for a movie together and she's like my muse. So I wanted also to create a very complex female character. And so she plays the therapist and Marvan Kenzari, he plays the sex offender. And you might know him as Jafar and Aladdin. So they both work in Hollywood basically and they came back to Holland. And this is a very small movie, very limited budget. Um, but it's, it suddenly became a bigger thing because we went to uh, Toronto, the film festival in Locarno, we won the Variety Award. And I think it's not just because of the movie, but also because there's a hunger uh, in society right now about for stories like this that are dealing with the complex issues of sexuality and power and the female identity and with the whole Me Too movement going on. I think apparently there there is a need for stories that look more in the grey areas because I think if you look at my film it's not clear who is guilty here. Is it the criminal or is it the therapist that crosses the boundary first? You know, so it's uh, it's not about good and evil, it's about everything in between. Mm. And what do you think about um, the place of female directors and women's stories on the screen because it feels like in the past you know, it was very dominated by male storytellers let's say but there has been a shift going on so what's been your experience being a female director and why do you think it's important that we have more parity in terms of people making films and how it influences what stories are told? I think it's um, very important that there's a huge movement that is going on all over the world now this movement of inclusivity um, you know this is what makes me so happy that we live in this time. Um, when we founded our company, Caris and I called Man Up, of course, ironically. Um, uh, it was yet, it was before this huge movement was happening. Um, so we already at that point, because we were both very successful early in our careers as actresses, and of course we noticed that it was a totally male-dominated world, completely. So even me on the stage all the time, all the time, doing all these huge characters, all developed by men, I, I, I felt very blessed, but also very imprisoned and so um, we both really said like it's like an obligation almost to start to create these female driven stories and not only that but I think also in the future we would like to step aside and because we are still white women you know so we should step aside and let other identities other minorities step in and we should all tell their stories it's a collective responsibility that is super important and we should all take part of this movement right now and I think it drives me completely and I I mean I'm really emotional about it and I think it's great yeah. And how does it feel to have your film here at London Film Festival? What yeah. does this particularly mean to you? Well, for us, it's such, it's so incredible because it started in Locarno, where it was a female-driven festival, and these female uh, females that programmed the whole festival, they picked our movie and they placed it at the Piazza Grande in a very big 
uh, place and we won the Variety Award and then Toronto and now this, it is like a dream come true. And a lot of people that we work with, the actors from Game of Thrones and also some of my colleagues are coming to watch tomorrow for a little opening. And then we're going to Chicago and France and it's a, it's a journey, it's a crazy journey. Yeah, <laughs> but we're very happy. Yeah, oh yeah. how exciting. Well thank you so much for sharing all that with us. Thank Congratulations you. on the film.